your name? Where nephew at? Where nephew at? He's in the crowd. In the crowd right Can you go get that for me? Because I just want to look at him and hold him. Oh my goodness. You just said off camera, well, we're talking with T, that four months today since you gave birth. What is going on through your head, Miss Girl? <laughs> you know, I just give the thanks and praise. I just feel I'm going to come in here and compete. Um, you know, my body, I listen to my body. I move everything slowly. And at the very last minute, we decided we just going to come on here and try to defend the title. Uh, we actually didn't start to train on the track until the last two weeks. And so uh, to be able to put down 52 seconds, I think it's pretty impressive. And so you telling me you ain't do nothing for like, no. for like three months. You went out to practice two weeks ago and said, you know what? I'm the I'm the champion and all and what, what and what's a what's a world champ without the champ? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she said, let me pull up and show y'all something right quick. And I know that the race wasn't that great, but you're in very, very high spirits. Yes. Talk to me about why. I am you know, I, like I said, it's, it's just an inspiration just to be able to come in here and put down fifty two and we're gonna complete the rest of the season and hopefully the time just continue to drop and they just get ready for next year. But uh I'm just happy overall with just being able to compete within the shelf. We can see it in the smile on your face. Don't even worry. We got something else to talk about. Um, so why was I scrolling on Twitter, you know, one day and it was like Shawnee Miller Weibo has uh, just completed her first two events of the Mosa. I said, huh? I'm like, I don't know. Confirmed by who? What sources? So then a couple hours later, it was like she just finished her first day. So why? Um, first off, when I got done. And one of my friends messaged me. She was like, "It's all over Twitter." I was like, "What?" <laughs> you see, y'all know this. <laughs> but no, I, you know, my little sister, she was doing the hep, and I said, "Hey, I'll, I'll jump in and join you." And so, um, and so uh, I decided to do it with her. She didn't have anyone to compete with, and I, I jumped in with her, and I had so much fun competing with her. But I wanna, I wanna give one full year of it in 2026, and we'll see how that goes. You know what's so funny? I was telling Jazz, I was like, I don't know why she decided to do it, but this is how I felt like it went down. Because what you just said is completely different from what I thought. So let me tell you. So I'm like, you know what? Her and her man was probably sitting in bed. Baby was crying. And you probably looking at him like, man, I don't want to get up. And he probably looking like, look, I will get up and get this baby for the next month if you score a certain amount at the most. I was like, all right, bet. And you went out there and then you did your thing. Oh, completely God. different from what you just told me but I feel like your story is even sweeter and even better and so just tell me how much like your sister means to you like I know that's your family that's your blood but to do a multi yeah, with her and yeah. for her tell me why you know what she just needed someone to be there with her because she wanted to qualify for two two meets and um you know in order for her to qualify you need two people with her so I was just like I'll jump in with you we'll do whatever um now when that 800 came I was like no you want your own with this <laughs> but yeah no it, it was just fun just to be able to compete with her and um just to see her qualify for her meets and compete at her meets and uh, to come back and compete this season, it's, it's just been a blessing. So what's next for you? You shutting it down? We're going to keep going? No. Like, what's up? We're going to keep going. I want to finish off the season. i uh, finish it off strong. We're going to see if we can get into some, uh, some meets and yeah, just be able to compete with the ladies. And oh, I mean, Olympic champion and world champion. I mean, y'all, they better be on their knees begging you to come to these meets, girl. Oh, my goodness. Now, I see a pretty little rock on your finger. Can, can you show the camera? Because I'm going to... Hold on. Yo. Your man got you that. <laughs> they sell more of him at Target or something. I need me one of those. <laughs> oh my goodness. Shane, you are just a class act. You're amazing. Everybody and their mama love you. Now you a mama too. So I like it's so crazy. And what's one thing that you want to tell your fans as you continue to transition through the rest of your track and field professional career? You know, I, I just want to talk to those who are thinking of being a mom. Uh, you know, at first growing up, you know, you would always have the stigma with, you know, once you get pregnant, that's it. You know, you don't have to, to shut down your season. I mean, shut down your career. And, um, you know, I've had so much inspiration in the sport. Uh, Valerie Adams, Nia Ali, uh, Shelly, I'm pretty surprised, you know, and the list goes on with moms who's, who's come back and had success. And, uh, you know, it's been a great inspiration for me. And uh, everyone's body is different. And so the main thing is just to take your time and uh, just know that at the end of the day, you will be back no matter how long it takes. Um, but yeah, it's just been a joy. Like I said, just being a mom and it's the most amazing thing that I've been through. And yeah, I just can't wait to just get back home and celebrate with my son. Yes, and speaking of bodies, yours is banging. <laughs> yours is banging. Look, I don't know no woman that looked that good after four months of giving birth to a child. So yeah. congratulations and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much.